eight-year-old who was struck by a car. She's in severe respiratory distress with seesaw paradoxical chest movement with each breath. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cheat sheets. Remember, whatever you're using, whether it's Brazil tape or hand heavy, red goes to the head and measure to the heel. And you can see clearly this child falls into the zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So when it comes to flails, they are classically described as two plus two. Otherwise known as two ribs, two places, you take a hunk of rib and it's no longer attached to your chest. And what's gonna clue you in that somebody's got a flail? Number one, you look at their x-ray and you see mush. Number two, in the more severe cases, remember you can get what's described as paradoxical motion, which is a fancy way of saying that when you watch them breathe like a seesaw, one side goes up while the other one goes down. And that can't be good. But specifically when it comes to managing flails, a couple things come into play. Number one, they've got multiple broken ribs, and that's bad enough. However, beyond the ribs, other issues are they have a nasty pulmonary contusion, otherwise known as a lung bruise underneath those broken ribs. And lastly, it's called, when it comes to flails, they hurt. Because as the song by Sting goes, you remember, every breath you take, it hurts hurts. Every move you make, it hurts. So whether it's with boluses of IV ketamine, taking him to surgery and actually fixing the flail, putting in an epidural catheter in the operating room to manage their pain, there's lots of ways that now work very well to go ahead and take care of the pain associated with flails. Because if you can manage the pain, you can manage the flail.